We are going to talk about the deployment method for our app services. So to perform this demonstration, I'm creating a app on the free tier with the same uh, process that I have followed before in the app services series. So while it is getting created, let me take you through some steps to understand what the deployment I'm talking about. Let's suppose this is our app service plan. You can see this is our app service plan and we have this app service running on the app service plan. Okay, in app service plan, whenever we create, there is a default page, but we don't need default page. No one needs default page. We want to place our code in this app services so that our application would be up and running. And it's not like a one-time deployment of the code. It would be keep on committing, keep on adding, keep on upgrading, keep on updating, right? So we should, in this, in this video, we are going to talk about those deployment methods, okay? Well, those deployment methods. So in order to understand, let's suppose this is our developer's station and he is pushing code here. Now, what are the different methods that he can use to perform this task? So that's why I'm moving this arrow right here. These are the different methods that uh, developers can use to send or deploy the code on the Azure App Services, okay? It should be like this, okay? Cool, now let's see. FTP client, we have already seen it. Till now, we are using the FTP client, right? If you do the FTP client, you just need to put in your, you need to download the FTP client. For example, a FileZilla, you need to type in the ID, password, and the host name, and you can transfer the file from one location to another, or you can say your local computer to the app services www root. Okay, now this is the basic way that we did. Now let's see what are the different ways. Well, these are the repos or the repository that uh, app service supported, GitHub, Bitbucket, local Git, Azure repos, and continuous deployment is something which makes it wonderful and makes it a part of Azure DevOps. That's why we do have Azure Pipeline in place, Azure Services, Build Services there, and GitHub, of course. So we are going to see the deployment method with the help of these three things that we see right here with the help of GitHub. So what we are going to do, we are going to place our code in the GitHub. Uh, so what you're gonna do, we, we need to authorize our app services to talk to our GitHub and from there we need to put our code to the pipeline. We could use Azure pipeline because it should go to the compilation, the build stage and then the we can also use app service build services so that it will deploy our code to the app services. Now, whenever you commit on the GitHub, the whole pipeline will initiate and the code would be deployed to the app services. That's how we are going to see today. The Azure pipeline, the entire deployment cycle, okay? We cannot use GitHub directly because you gotta have your code compiled if you're gonna use the GitHub directly. So let's go and see it without wasting any more time. So this is our app services, which has been deployed. So if I click here, it's our default page, it should come. The name is deploy app 21 and deploy RG is the resource group. It's the app one free, 60 minutes for the compute basic page all right this is our deployment center in the previous video we talked about the deployment slots so deployment center is our next all right cool now let's go ahead and refresh it first and come back to deployment center let's wait while it's loading and then We'll go ahead and use GitHub first, right? So you can see the things that I was talking about. FTP, 
we do have these options OneDrive, Dropbox, external. We talked about it in previous videos are the basic manual methods and Azure repos, GitHub, Bitbucket. These are the other methods by which we can perform our deployment to the app services. Okay, so these are the continuous deployment. So, uh, in order to perform this with the help of GitHub, you need to create your GitHub account. You should have your GitHub account. I have this GitHub account with me. I created the organization as Pachera Talks. You can simply create your organization from here. Come on, come on, come the organization. And then I've created one repository as app service. You can see that. And I've put one index.html here. It's a very simple code which says Azure App Service. This is App Service Deployment Test 2, or let's say test. You need to click here on Edit first. Only then you can edit it. So let it be like this. That's fine. Cancel. So this is what you needed. These, this is the prerequisite to perform this demonstration. You need your GitHub account, your organization, your repository, and and. Uh, HTML page if you want to download the entire code you can download from here I got this from here you just need to type here uh, sample code for app service Azure and you can find a lot of sample codes here okay So you can Google it and you can find the code that you want to use. I'm sorry, I didn't find here. No source code from when started with App Service. Oh, it's 2016. That's pretty old. Let me come here. This is what App Service is right, right here. So .NET Core App. This is where the right here. This is the code that I'm using right now. You can utilize from any of these. These are the quick starts from where you can get the code you can see right here. So we're using a very simple test page because it, we are not talking about how to build the code. We are talking about how to deploy code. All right, let's come here. So you need to click on GitHub and you need to authorize your account. You need to click on authorize and sign in if there's a prompt comes. I have already been done that. So that's why my name is showing here and I'm going to click continue. Now these are the options that I talked about before here Azure pipeline app services github we can see right here Azure pipeline github actions and app service build service Okay Now let's go ahead and try app service build service select this click on continue Now here you need to select your organization your repository and your branch I have this as organization I have already showed you and these things come automatically because that's all I have I do not have number of branches I do not have number of repository I have only one repository and one branch hence it filled automatically click on continue now it is showing repository this is where the code is placed branch master branch is going to deploy and with the help of app service build service because it is going to compile and build and then release all together and then uh, the default page whatever the app service is showing right now this hosting file would be replaced by the code that is coming from the github repository so it's setting it up it's fetching the deployment data you can see here now let's wait and watch the steps all right, it's fetching. All right, it's took one or two minutes. It says active and let's click on the browse. There we go. This is app service deployment test to Azure pipeline. This is what we had here, right? If I click on edit and do some changes here, for example, let me do the test three from Pachera Talks and I commit the changes now this commit will trigger it will trigger the pipeline and this uh, this will start fetching the data compile it build it and release it again so just wait as soon as this 
triggers this commit is completed now it will take few minutes or maybe seconds and it will start fetching the data again and it will I think it already did updated index.html let's browse and right here it has three Pachera talks there we go that's how this pipeline works simple and sweet now let's disconnect this one and check Azure Azure pipelines so it's been disconnected I'm going to click on deployment center so that we can follow the process again for Azure pipelines so click on github continue select Azure pipelines continue now here are the things that you need to uh, complete just like the previous demonstration this is my organization and this is my repository this is my branch now in Azure DevOps organization I have already created one organization which is Pachera talks and I have two projects created already I can select any of these okay if you do not have anything you can just let it be like this and go with that but I have so I'm following this project project 2 and here we need to select the framework let's select this and click on continue click on finish now this will perform the same steps almost same steps what the other one is access denied using its permission to create service connection in this specific project 2 alright so I need to go ahead and allow the permission alright so access denied what I have done to fix this I added the connection here as a service principle and let's try one more time or let's finish it and let's see if it works it should be all right cool well it says successfully set up connection delivery and trigger build so it has been triggered the build it will take some time before it releases if uh, you click here you can see right here it has initiated you go to the release and it is running right now you can see it is going on so let's wait come here and let's see let's wait for one more minute here there we go we got the release and let's refresh try to browse test 3 okay now if you want you can go ahead and edit it with as test 4 and commit it this will trigger the pipeline again and there would be release 4 you can see that if I refresh it will start as soon as the trigger hits the Azure pipeline it will start following the process and we would have our changes deployed in our app services in no time and there we go we got the release here it's refreshing uh, the only thing happens somehow maybe I have exceeded the time or something I uh, app got offline and I need to restart it that's why it took our time now if I go to the deployment center and browse it test four there we go so that's how it works and this is all about the deployment methods we talked about in this video well thank you for watching and you have a good day